Buy a selected full high-definition Vera Plasma and you'll get a large box for the kids. And for a limited time, you'll also get a bonus Wii for mum and dad. Until the kids find out. So here we are at the uh, Star Lake Rugby Awards. The night's about to wind up, but uh, a special request from the fans of number 8.co.nz. We've managed to tie in the chairman of the New Zealand Rugby Foundation, Morris Trapp. Morris, a, uh, a big year for New Zealand Rugby, mate. Have you enjoyed it? Uh, it's, been a, it's been a great year. I think I think kicked off with our inaugural visit to the Wellington Sabres. Um, we've been trying, planning, and putting a lot of time into trying to get the guys there for a number of years. This year we succeeded and uh, I couldn't get there. The, the, the photos I've seen, the guys who went, the party that was there, it was absolutely superb, it was totally repeatable. We haven't got the energy to do it every year, but it's definitely every second year. And that's a commitment to all our guys that, that there's a big party down in Wellington for the seventies. Every second. Fair call. I've been to a few of the guys who were down there, they all thoroughly enjoyed the occasion. Um, another thing we did with the foundation this year was, of course, launch the number eight website for the, the fans of New Zealand rugby to reinvigorate that passion. And uh, now we've got almost 10,000 members, you must be happy about that. Yeah, it's again, it's been, a, it's been a task that's taken a number of years to put together. With the energy of, of Andrew Fenton, our CEO, um, and and myself. I was going you involved as well. <laughs> but with, 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 that, with that energy to, to make it happen, we, we've, we've got it there. So, so within 18 months, maybe, we've got 8,000, 9,000 members. And hopefully that's going to grow. Uh, communicate with each other, communicate with the public, have awareness around what the Rugby Foundation is doing for infant players. It's you know, seriously And uh, I think it's a great opportunity for people. Actually, just one more question, but before everyone, it's been said that when you were coaching Auckland back in the day, one of the first names you'd write down on paper was Mark Carter. Is this true? Uh, no, that's not true. No, Mark, the first name was written down was Mark Carter because he wasn't even in the scene in the first couple of years. He arrived about the third year, I think, of my coaching. Um, and then after he got trampled on, I think he played for the Barbarian side against us. And he got shredded, a bit like this carpet actually. He looked, his body looked like this, except there were red lines and a black line. Um, he was, uh, he was involved, he, he became involved in the side totally, accepted into it. And he became an outstanding, outstanding, outstanding player, outstanding player. Oh, absolutely. I rate him as one of the most underrated talents. I'm going to see the rugby, the commitment, the passion he showed with the skill set that he had. I thought this was about the rugby foundation. Oh, no, sorry. Um, just a quick wish out, a uh, happy Christmas wish out to the fans of number eight and on the ongoing support for the foundation. Yeah, to, to all the fans, uh, to all our, our, our players, uh, the, the injured players, have a great Christmas. Uh, have a great start to the new year and a great rugby season. Here. This wish out. Thanks a lot, Morris Trapp. That's just about a wrap from uh, the Starline Awards. We'll try and grab a couple more, and we'll see how we go. Thank you. Go to number8.co.nz.